So we have already discussed this that uh, if our general ledger or trial balance is in positive and negative values and we have a single column for all the amounts no matter they were debit or credit we can make our reporting and analytics way more easier. But you know in, pra in practice in reality when we extract our general ledger from an accounting software or ERP system usually these values are in debit and credit and first of all we should be able to convert those debits and credit values into positive and negative value into a single column and this is exactly what we are going to do that in this lecture so this is the standard GL that we are using in the course and you can see we have all our amount in a single column but what if the GL looks like this so this is the same GL but this time the values are split into two columns one for debit and the other for credit. Before we start writing a formula to convert these values into a single column positive and negative values let us first understand the conversion rule. So I have summarized that conversion rule on this sheet here and let us discuss that first. So first of all let us talk about assets. You know when assets increase we record them on the debit side. So I would say that increase should be recorded with a positive sign. So the debit of the asset I mean increase of the asset will be positive and the credit I mean the decrease of the asset will be negative. Similarly for liabilities and equity when the liabilities or equity increase we record that on the credit side. So that increase is also going to be recorded as positive and when liabilities decrease we record them on the debit side which means that the debit of the liability or equity account is going to be negative. Now before we go to income and expense let me repeat one point and that point is the income and expense the net summary eventually goes to the balance sheet uh, in, in the equity form. So when the income increase the equity increase and when the expenses increase the equity decrease we know that right. So let us talk about income when the income will increase this will increase the uh, equity of the business so this increase should be recorded as a positive sign and the decrease should be recorded as a negative sign and finally when expenses increase right the, the impact of increase in expense is the decrease in equity of the business so even though the expenses are going to be increased on the debit side we will record them with a negative sign because they eventually reduce the equity of the business and vice versa when the expenses decrease we record them on the credit side but this time this is going to be the positive. Now with these rules in mind I will write an if condition in excel and that condition will be if the class is asset please make the debit column a positive balance and bring it here in this column and please make the credit balances a negative value and please bring it here in this column and for liability do this rule and for equity do this rule and for income and for expense. Now if I go this way I will have to write 5 if statements for all of these you know uh, classes. Alternatively I can do a little intelligence and I would say that I would write one function for assets and the other function for everything else and how I will you know how I will be mentioning all of these uh, classes in my formula. Let me take you to my chart of accounts so that I can show you that my chart of accounts has a structure uh, where we have account key for all the accounts and in that account key you can see that here I have account number of 10, 20, 30 up to 100 for assets and all the other accounts like liabilities and owners equity and if I scroll down you can see for income and for expenses for all other accounts the account key is higher than 100. So lucky for me there is no mix and match there is very clear differentiation. So I will simply say that if my account key is you know less than or equal to 100 please use the asset uh, rule and if my account key is higher than 100 please use the other rule. Now with this clarity I will go to my GL and I will start typing a function using these uh, conversion rules in mind. So let us start I will say if and the first thing is going to be the condition and that condition is going to be on account key. So I will say if account key is less than or equal to 100. So I have made sure that I am only talking about assets. So if account key is less than or equal to 100. What I want to do now is I would say please bring in the debit value and 
plus also bring in you know there in some columns there will be debit values and in some columns there will be credit values and i need to make sure i i need to i, I want to bring the both of them so i will use the plus sign that is the easiest way of doing that don't worry about plus sign because eventually if there is a debit value the credit will be zero and if there is a credit value the debit will be zero so eventually there will be only one value anyway so plus will not create any problem for us so i would say that uh, if account key is less than or equal to 100 please bring in the debit value plus also bring in the credit value but you know we also have to mention that this credit value should also be converted to negative so i will multiply that credit part with minus one and i will close the bracket and i will press enter and by the way you know we also have to uh, in the if statements we also have to give a condition that if the value is false then what a uh, system should do so i will have to press zero for that so that you know if this condition of the first condition if the, condi the you know that less than or equal to 100 if that is not met what should be the answer so i will press enter now but you know that is not going to give me the final value of amount and the reason is we only have spoken about asset accounts for now we also need to define the rule for the remaining uh, uh, remaining accounts as well so let us press enter and now you can see there are values which have been converted but of course uh, where there are you know for example if you look at the first row since the account key is higher than 100 there is no value in this column now but where the account key is uh, less than 100 you can see that the system has converted the value and since in this column the amount was in credit it has converted that to negative sign now uh, let us uh, go back to our formula and let us complete the function for the remaining accounts as well and for that i will say please uh, do uh, use a plus sign and let us go back to if condition again and if account key uh, i'm sorry i would simply refer it here if the account key as you know uh, greater than 100 then what you need to do is that you need to bring in the debit value but this time the debit would be converted to negative so i'll multiply that with minus one and i will say please use plus the credit value as well and uh, comma zero just for you know if if this rule is not met at all then the value should be zero I close the bracket and press enter and now you can see that you know all of the values have now been converted to debit uh, i mean the positive or negative now the next question would be how do we check that all of our conversions are correct or not definitely we can choose some values so for example we can see here that this is uh, an account where account key is higher than 100 and the amount should be negative so it is uh, we can do this kind of manual check as well uh, here if we have an account where the credit should be positive and so it is but even better would be you know go back to the pivot table and create a quick report so to prepare a quick report first of all let me name the columns accordingly debit credit and let us name this as amount and now just to save some time on the lecture i have done the data modeling i have already connected this new table to my other tables and i have also prepared a profit and loss statement template here in this screen on this sheet now remember that profit and loss statement is the easiest statement that we can prepare by just dragging the values here all other reports like balance sheet requires some kind of text now that i have you know this template ready i will simply go to find my table here and that table was named as uh, you know let me find that this one this tbl gl drc debit credit is the table that i have just used to define my values so i will bring in the amount column and this will quickly give me the profit and loss statement i don't need to separate that for years right now i just need to check the values so i will bring in the debit column as well and i will bring in the credit column as well and finally you know in this income statement the sum of all the credits minus sum of debit is your net profit so i'm going to do that manually here so i will say equals this minus this and finally we just need to cross check these two values and these two values are the same which shows that you know all the conversion that we have done is completely all right we have the same answer from positive and negative values for profit and loss and we have the same answer from credit and debit values